Welcome back to Breakfast Television. We get to whip up a last minute romantic dish for your loved one, making things simple from cilantro. We have Chef Lance in the kitchen here. And what are we making, Chef? We're making a black pepper linguine. Okay, so this is uh, obviously comes from a great history of cilantro. 30 years, I can't believe this. 30 years, yeah. The Olympic year. Yeah, exactly. That summer of the Olympics. We opened up. That's when you opened. Yeah. Okay, so uh, recently you've had a facelift, but some things remain the same. And this is a classic dish that you would serve at cilantro? Yeah, this uh, we've been we've been serving this for, for many years. Um, we make all of our pasta daily. Uh, this is a black pepper linguine, so heavy on the black pepper. Yeah. Uh, we now, this is, this is like getting really fancy, right? To make <laughs> your own pasta, but what would yeah. you suggest for people at home? Oh, you could pick up any type of uh, decent pasta and then if you're going to try to make this dish just over pepper it okay yeah good the yeah. more pepper the merrier yeah and then what do we have going on, on so the right here pepper? I've got some chicken onions tomatoes garlic That's I'm it. gonna deglaze with wine right now okay I'm just gonna get all those little bits that got stuck to the bottom of the plate and that's what really makes this dish and it smells delicious um, now, is this something classic that you would serve on a regular basis at cilantro, or yeah. you made this particularly for us? No, no, this is a daily item for sure, and one of our best sellers for sure. Okay, pasta, yeah. awesome, classic. So after your wine is a little bit reduced and the alcohol is gone, just a little bit of cream, and this is 35% uh, cream, mm -hmm. and chicken stock. And then that's basically the base of your sauce. Okay, easy as that. Yeah. So simple flavors, and when it comes to a pasta dish, I mean, it's such a crowd pleaser, particularly if you're cooking for your whole family, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And it's an easy thing to serve family style, too. You can do it in a, a big abundance, right? Right. Yeah. So with, uh, with the cream and the chicken stock in there, this is a little fresh ground nutmeg. Mm -hmm. So just a tiny, tiny pinch that a little bit goes a long way with nutmeg. And what does the nutmeg bring to the dish? That's going to give a little bit of nuttiness and spice to it. Okay. Yeah. And so do you... The, because to me, that's a little bit different. So yeah, it, for sure. Do you, do you go for those different flavor profiles? Yeah, well, most people use nutmeg for baking, right? Right. But it's definitely a spice that can be used in smoking, in pastas and sauces. It's uh, definitely a little bit underutilized. Okay, so now we've got now we've got a decent simmer going yeah, on with the sauce. Yeah, I see. It's kind of reducing a little bit. So this pasta here has just been blanched off for about a minute. Mm -hmm. With fresh pasta, too. It doesn't take very long to... Um, to cook. To cook through. Yeah. And you throw that right in with the sauce. Exactly. So this pasta is also cooked only to about 70%. And that's the key because the sauce is going to cook the rest of the pasta and it's going to absorb some of that flavor. Al dente, as they say. <laughs> right? Exactly. Okay. And then how do we finish this dish off? So once the pasta's in, you just have a little bit of fresh spinach. And it's important, especially if you're kind of putting greens into something like this and wilting it, just very, very last minute. And would you cover that or you're just tossing it? No, I'm just going to toss it. I'm going to get that pasta just on top of the greens there, maybe cook it off for another 15 seconds or so, mm -hmm. leave a lot of that nutritional value, especially in the spinach. Gorgeous. And uh, not to overcook it. Okay, and while that's, uh, that's wilting down, let's talk about some of the changes that you've made to cilantro. So some of the staples are the same on the menu. But... Yeah, some of the staples are the same. We're still focusing on pizzas and pastas, mm -hmm. but I've gone more towards um, game. Yes. We own a game farm within the city limits, and bison and elk is what we raise there. So I'm kind of just flooding my menu with... Uh, Bison and elk. Nice. Okay, yeah. with that uh, locally produced meat. So yeah, exactly. wonderful. And of course, the stove is a classic. If you like to sit upstairs, uh, you know, by the bar or otherwise, or into yeah. the patio when the summer rolls around, that's one of the oldest pizza stoves in Calgary. It's the oldest in Alberta. Oh wow! Imported from Italy. Yeah, okay. I, I maintain it every year. I have to kind of rebuild it, replaster it, but she goes pretty strong. All right. <laughs> so let's plate this up yeah. and see how how the pros do it. Yeah. For your Valentine. So especially if you're plating and you're trying to be a little bit fancy, it's always nice to spin the pasta in the pan before you plate it. Got it. You can grab it in one big lump then and keep it in the plate. Yes. And Sauce, then top it with that delicious. Chicken, tomato, spinach over top. And then we're going to finish this off with a little bit of toasted sesame seeds. I Gorgeous. use a little bit of black and white. And it's going to add a little bit more nuttiness to that flavor. Beautiful. Probably uh, wipe the rim. And that, yes, that's exactly, <laughs> that's what the chefs do. And there you have it, black pepper linguine for your Valentine, or you can have the professionals do it, of course, 30 years here in the city of Calgary at Cilantro right on 17th Avenue. Thank you so much, Chef, yeah, for cooking for sure. this up. It smells amazing. All the camera guys are ready to pounce on this dish. So we'll take a break. <laughs> Time for a commercial here on Breakfast Television.